Well, what's up guys? So I'm gonna give you an update on the roll cage on the Cuda. All right, so we have the loop in, which is that piece there, all the way down to the bottom. Now on the bottom over there and over here, these are um, big, big plates. These are 3 16 plates and they're actually doubled up here. And then these are connected directly to all of this. This is the body mount and this is all quarter inch and 3 16 mixed steel and it goes straight to that body mount right there. Everything goes right to the body mount. Then we have another bar going back down through the package tray and down into the floor. Now, the reason why it's here, it stops here on these big plates and all this is getting cut out. The reason why they're there is because that is the frame rail of the car that comes back and is connected to that body mount right there. So everything eventually makes its way back to the frame of the car. I apologize for this, the lack of filming, like I just said to Mason. Um, hold on a second. Serious glare in the camera. Mason back here is putting the uh, dually wheels on. You see these panels up here? These are not gonna go in the car because they're really not this guy's. But when he gets them, I'm gonna show you how they look right now. So you can see those panels fit in there quite good. Very good, actually. So this is where that body panel sits. So the door is gonna have the same shape in the uh, door panel. So we know it's gonna sit right about there when it shuts. So just enough room to get this panel in and out. You can see, like so. Panel squeezes out of there. And there you go. Seats fit great. Everything goes in the way it should. Even these little things, how to put these back in. This is what holds the rear seat down. So it looks good. Oh, we have an AC box. It's not really hooked up yet. Took the dash out. We're gonna change the dash pad in it. Make the dash actually look nice because the rest of the interior, well, the seats itself will look like uh, not very nice. The passenger motor mount, which was just getting smashed to pieces because of the weight of all this right here. We got turbo blankets coming in too, by the way. Um, I had to put in kind of a torque strap down there that's made out of a very heavy gauge uh, piping. And you can see it right here. It's all isolated and it goes down in there. So that should help because before the uh, transmit, or no, I'm sorry, before the oil pan was not very even right here in this gap that you see. It was leaning down, which means it was crushing that motor mount back there. And these are 24 valve motor mounts. But I think just the weight of all this was pulling it down pretty hard. And so that's what that torque stress for.
All right, so it is the next day. Allergies kicked in. It's getting kind of crazy. We got these little things. I showed you guys probably in the last video. Maybe this same video. I don't know how I'm gonna edit all this, but these um, are, you know, the little bar connectors here. Which they look like that on the inside. So they just slip right down in here and you gotta get it exactly right for this bar to come in and out. Now the reason why this bar comes in and out is because if you're going off road, you know, you definitely want it in and there's nobody in the back seat. But if you're just driving around town, around the city, slow speeds, not looking to jump any, you know, ravines or anything like that, then you can take it out. Somebody can be in the back seat probably with a helmet and you're good to go. So that part's done, thank God. It's all welded up, roll bar is complete. I showed in the last video the wheel wells. It's all this stuff in here. All that stuff got done. It is good to go, no more on this until later, somewhere down the road, making a cap for all this. Whereas before, you'd be looking from right here and you can see all up in there. I mean, look how good that looks. It looks complete. Look at here. I've got a receiver. That's the part I'm doing right now. Um, the owner, Matt, requested a receiver on there. So I went out back and got the one that actually came off of this truck, this uh, chassis, and cut it, slid it in between the frame. You can see it's it's uh, slid in there. You can see there in here. And then this uh, one by three, it was already in there as a cross member. And um, we're just gonna weld straight up to it. So it's welded across here, some on the back, down, over, and all the way around on the, on the sides. And this thing should be pretty stout. Now it's probably gonna end up getting one of those drop down hitches that are like two feet and then have the bars going back and catching the frame. That's pretty much all you can do. I mean, look how high off the ground that thing is. It's right there. So going all the way down to like right here and have a little receiver on there. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna get to uh, uh, welding this up and, and shoot it black. And then I get to mark another thing off the list. All done. All right. I went over these like twice. <laughs> so the, these welds are huge. But the reason why is because the normal welds under it and then I just wanted to lay as far over as possible on those just because I'm overdoing stuff like I always do. So weld it all the way across here and we now have receiver so in the end the bumper uh, comes out probably about this far maybe and then drops down and so this just the end of this will be sticking out of whatever valence panel is going to end up going on there sometime in the near future maybe so um, I have something for my subs all subscribers out there, something came in and I want to share it with you right now. So this is here. It says, do you remember your first subscriber? Your 100th, 1,000th? Chances are you do and you definitely remember your 100,000th. I'll continue. Your fans may have found you while searching YouTube, learned about you through a friend. Maybe you showed up as a recommended video. No matter how they came to your channel, fans stayed and their numbers increased because of your unique voice, thank you, <laughs> and excitement of being part of the growing community that you established. We are thrilled to see the development of your community and are proud to honor your impressive milestone of reaching 100,000 subs, which was like 
months ago, but still, we, we got there. Uh, uh, with the Silver Creator Award, congratulations. We know that you have many more stories to share with the community, and we know that your fans can't wait for you to engage and amaze them even more with your commitment and creativity. So keep creating, keep building, we can't wait to see what you'll do next, and we're here to support you along the way. And who knows, when you reach your one millionth subscriber, which should be in like six months, we may just write you and ask, do you remember your 100,000th? Thousandth. Thousandth. 100,000th. Why the hell can I? Your 100,000th. 100 grand subscriber. Yours sincerely, uh, Susan, the CEO of YouTube. So now I'm going to show you. There you go. Ready? One, two, three. Oh my God. That looks so good. So I'm going to put this. Well, that's very nice too. Lucky, lucky. Oh, hey. So I'm going to end up putting this thing right above the door. I've already installed screws. So that's where this is going to go. Right about here. So I can get it to go. Oh, there it is. Ooh. Beautiful. Look at those wheels back there. That's amazing. All right. There you go. The tiny little YouTube plaque. When you first walk in the door, you see all of our shirts, shirts over here, some metal art stuff, that giant metal art car. By the way, I made this uh, a long time ago. This is owned by my friends Kelly and John. And that's actually one of the cars that we were building at one time. We'll get back to that. But there you go. There's the... There's the plaque. And I'll go ahead and record everyone's reaction when they come in the building tomorrow. I think they're going to be super surprised and happy. All of my subscribers out there, thank you for everything you've done so far, all the videos you've watched, and all the time you've spent with us. Making this channel quite a success in just over a year. It's, it's been good. What's funny is I just got this uh, this plaque and there's like 160 ish thousand subs in 14 months. That's really good. That's really really good. Um, and thanks to Matt, of course, all the demolitia. I mean, you guys pumped this thing up super fast, so it was good. Um, I apologize again for the lack of videos. It's just uh, it's crazy stuff around here and. You know, we're, we're, we're ending the whole uh, Demo Cuda thing as far as building the car goes here. But what we're going to do is also film um, out with Matt and, and um, all the things they're going to do out there. So I'll be filming that stuff too and, you know, keeping it going on this channel. So thank you again to every single person out there who has subscribed to this channel and making this a possibility. I love y'all, thank you very much. And for those of you who haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing and being part of this uh, Muscle Rod Shop family over here. So thank you very much, and we'll see you on the next one.